Hi, welcome back. Here in this video, I'm actually just showing a photo shoot from 2016 that I did. It's actually using a Sony A7 II with a Minolta. Looks like it's a 80 to 210 f4 vintage lens. Here I'm just using Godox Speedlight through Shoot Through Umbrella shooting through, changing settings, and changing the power on the light. This was kind of midday, so I did have to have the flash up pretty high. You know, but as you can see, the images were coming out pretty good. But we were just trying to do kind of a rock type of shoot, hence the reason she's dressed the way she is. But, for the images, I did edit them kind of using a film kind of style. So, they are kind of adjusted in more of a filmic kind of manner. But, here in this location, we just go through some different poses, and I shoot and go through some stuff. As I'm looking through the viewfinder, I am directing her to hold poses as the lens is having to use autofocus points that are in the A-mount Minolta adapter for the Sony camera as the, it wasn't using the phase detect points in the camera body. It was having to use the five phase detect points that were actually in the adapter. It had a translucent mirror in the adapter to essentially reflect the image into the phase detect points in the adapter to simulate kind of a mirror box. That's what Sony did when they were using Minolta's A-mount before they switched to their mirrorless E-mount was having to do quite a bit of focus and recompose, but it worked out. And for the most part, I use that 80 to 210, and it's actually an f4 lens. But occasionally I did switch to a Sony 50mm 1.8, Sony's Nifty 50. Decent lens, uh, you know, it could have been better, but, you know... As later down the road, I found when I was using my Sony 8514G Master. In other shoots, I found that uh, a lot of the early Sony G Master lenses aren't really that sharp. And the G Master, you know, that, that lens has been due for an update for years now, but... Me personally, I'll probably never go back to shooting Sony again. I left Sony mainly because of issues with not Sony themselves, but one of their repair shops. But, you know, that's video for another day if people are curious. But as you can see, we're just shooting in kind of a, a bridge kind of dock that's going over a lake. I recently shot on this dock a few weeks ago before winter really started setting in. And I honestly probably will not shoot on this dock again because some of the wood on the dock is actually loose now where during this time it was fairly strong and secure but I did notice a few weeks ago that this dock is actually in need of repair in this location of this lake you definitely don't want to fall into that lake because there are turtles in the lake so and I believe they are snapping turtles but plus the lake has green algae in it so you definitely don't want to fall into that as you can see, I have her facing the sun, the open shade, 
and just filling in the shadow side with the flash. Dynamic range wise it seems to have filled in decent but the sunlight at the end of the bridge is still overexposing on the Sony camera. Did do the editing in Capture One Pro to kind of bring back the highlights but in the images you can see the highlights on the concrete in the background did not recover. Now in this location, having the watch out for uh, rogue birds flying around in this spot because they are directly above us. But in this spot, this was kind of nearing the end of the shoot, but pretty decent. Got some good shots. The person that I had helping shoot a video was actually a friend of the model. Shooting on a old Sony A6000. Decent camera. Overheated a lot. <laughs> shooting video. But here it is kind of nearing the end. But let me know what you think of the photos of the edits. I decided to go back and re-edit these photos and decided to do something with the video. But let me know. Like, subscribe share the video, and just let me know future videos you would like to see. I'm going to do some more behind-the-scenes shoots where I'm actually talking and directing, doing more direct teaching in the videos, but let me know. Comment below, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you, and bye.